Fresco Gunnarskog Arvika, three lovely little towns in the western part of Sweden, where it would take the better part of a day if you went by a horse and a cart. Now, thanks to the bus, in 1928, we could reduce this to probably half a day's travel. It was powered by the same engine that we used in the passenger cars, and it shared many components in the drive line from the cars also. The engine was a two litre engine that gave 28 horsepowers. Now that's not a lot, but in those days, it was seen as good enough to power commercial vehicles. Imagine what it would be like to ride in a bus like this in 1928. You know, far from the modern comforts of today's coaches and buses, where it's filled with air suspension, air conditioning. Now, this had none of that at all. So you can see, first of all, there were room in this one for 15 passengers plus the driver. Uh, it would be fairly tight. You could imagine squeezing in with men, women, children, some maybe brought a chicken. They were going in to, to the, one of the towns, possibly to sell something at the market or buy something at the market and come on the bus. There were no timetables, so uh, they had to go out and just wait, you know, by the entrance at the gate of the farm. They knew that there would be a bus sometime during the morning and eventually it would come and pick them up and go in. Just look at the handcrafted way this bus is built. All the wood, it's beautiful, you know, curtains, the plush upholstery, the luggage racks at the top. It's certainly traveling in style, I would say. Imagine the bumpy roads, the noise of it, the 28 horsepower engine, which certainly didn't make this bus very fast. I bet it was quicker sometimes to walk if you came to a steep hill. But nevertheless, this was seen as the absolute top of the line in 1928.